against Embiid. Embiid clobbers him. Lands on top of Westbrook. Yeah. I'm not uh -oh. sure he needs to go after uh -oh. Embiid. Yeah, I'll take it. So Embiid and Westbrook <laughs> seem to hate each other. Russ, y'all good? No. Well, this is just a new chapter in a rivalry that has been escalating, but why? What led them to this? What is up, dudes, dudettes, ballers, players? It's your boy MJ. In the last OKC 76ers game, Westbrook got fouled hard by Embiid, got up, and immediately went after Embiid. At the end of the game, as Russ fouled out, Embiid waved by to Russ. After the game, Russ said that he felt that Embiid put a little extra in the foul and was asked if him and Embiid were good and answered it with a foul no way. Joel Embiid said that Russ is always in his feelings. Yeah, but he's always in his feelings, so I have no idea. But let's go back to the beginning of all of this. December 15th, 2017. It's Thunder vs 76ers. You know, back when Carmelo was on the Thunder. It's been a great game to say the least. Both Embiid and Russ are playing well and the game is in triple overtime. Then Joel Embiid draws a foul on Steven Adams and Adams fouls out. As a celebration, Embiid waves their crowd as if he's waving goodbye to Steven Adams. Westbrook and the Thunder end up winning that game off a game winning assist by Russ to win 119-117. As both teams are walking to the locker room, Russ blatantly waves at Joel Embiid telling him to go home. The funny thing is that the game happened in Philly and so it was his home but you know what? We're gonna just let that slide. The interaction seemed playful and Russ wasn't gonna let him mess with his teammate Steven Adams. But looking at it deeper, you notice it isn't. That was the 17th straight time the Thunder had beat the 76ers. For a guy like Joel who wants to win and be dominant, that obviously irks him. He even said that after the game that Russ must feel like this is his home because he told Georgia to go home and that he wishes he could shoot it 33 times since Russ did indeed go 10 of 33 from the field. And when you say those type of comments, Russ ain't gonna take kindly to that. What? Also, Russ doesn't have good history with the 76ers either, with the fan flipping him off in October of 2016 and so there was already slight bad blood. Let's fast forward to their next interaction, January 28, 2018. This time the game's in OKC and one play said it all. But before we get to that, let's look at the supporting cast. Paul George is rumored to possibly be leaving for LA in this coming offseason, but hey, the 76ers are still a good option, so no real feelings yet. Carmelo Anthony? Yeah, him and Embiid didn't really like each other. Remember that triple overtime game? Joel Embiid scored on Carmelo and immediately starts celebrating right in Carmelo's face. Carmelo didn't like that and so they start jarring. Embiid is a showman and he's pretty good at getting inside people's heads. So while Embiid might be cool with Melo, Melo definitely got irritated and now he's around Westbrook. So the hate was just brewing. Steven Adams could care less about Embiid because he's pretty mellow. No, not that mellow. Damn it. I meant calm. The 76ers cast didn't have issues with Westbrook and so let's proceed. As I was saying, this play sums it all. Westbrook is 0 for 4. Good show and go. Embiid detonates on Westbrook and stares him down. Wow. Then Russell Westbrook stares down Joel Embiid while dribbling out the clock as retaliation for Embiid staring down Russell Westbrook after a dunk. After the game, Joel Embiid posted a picture on Instagram of him posterizing Westbrook with the location being crime scene investigation. <laughs> Man, Jojo, you're funny. And we wouldn't have to wait too long for more to follow. The 2018 NBA All-Star Game was the first one that there were two captains picking, and Embiid and Westbrook still ended up on opposite teams. Embiid before the game said that if he gets a chance to block someone or dunk on Westbrook again, I'm gonna do it. And then in the game, Westbrook dared Embiid to shoot a deep three. He makes it and immediately at the other end, blocks Westbrook. And then he flashed a smile at Westbrook. Savagery, man. Savagery. He even said that his favorite moment in the game was that block, and then he followed it up by saying he was kidding. But he probably wasn't. We had to wait a long time, almost a year, to get the next chapter. January 19th, 2019. Now, we have the events that just happened, with the hard foul, the wave, with the... 
And so this is the Embiid and Westbrook rivalry to this point. Yes, from the surface of yesterday's game, it seemed like a hard foul that Russ didn't like, but it's been a rivalry brewing. However, let's actually take a look at the personalities of the two. Joel Embiid is playful. He plays mind games not only to play to the crowd, but to get all of his opponents riled up and then hopefully to mess up. Russell Westbrook is a guy who is known to clap back to take everything to heart. Just look at the missed clap right here and how pissed off he gets. So when it started, Joel Embiid didn't care, but Jojo is very competitive. His teammates have said that he hates losing so much. He just wants to be the best and doesn't want to take flack from anyone. Now losing to Thunder, ever since he's been in the league, Westbrook is actually getting on his nerves. Not necessarily with the antics, but with the losing. So now the antics are only adding on to that. For Westbrook, it's always been serious. If you mess with one of his boys, he's not going to take kindly to that. We're just going to have to wait till the All-Star game or their next game on February 28th to see more unless some social media spiciness follows. But this is the Embiid and Westbrook rivalry. But what do you think? How real is this rivalry and which team is better? Drop a like for the pettiness. The Instagram shout of the day goes to G Bernard and the all day notification shout goes to SB Boy. Thanks for the all day support. Make sure to bell for all day notifications and if you're not a sub, hit that subscribe button on the all day community for more fire content, all day support. It's your boy MJ. We out.